what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back we are here once again with another new series starting on the channel hopefully you guys know by now so let me get this out of the way this is for early access right here um so you guys that are enjoying early access enjoy early access next week it will all be available for youtube at two episodes per upload right i'm not gonna say per day right now because i don't i don't know yet if I'm going to be uploading this every day, but I'm going to try to get two episodes to you guys every day. Um, I have a long session ahead of me, so I'm just going to jump in. But in any case, guys, consider joining the membership on the channel. Of course, when you see this, um, when you guys see this over on YouTube, when it becomes available to you guys, um, as you're hearing the sound of my voice, please consider joining the membership on the channel today we are at 14 members on the channel so shout out to all of you guys that have signed up whether you're a member an elite member or a superstar member i really do appreciate you guys i'm looking forward to the day when we hit a hundred thousand subscribers and over 500 of you guys or a thousand of you guys sign up for memberships on the channel it will allow me that my goal is to um, get to a place where I can just do these things on a regular basis, become a full-time content creator. I'm working my way up to it. Um, as, as I've told you guys before, it's something that I want to do now because of, um, stuff that are happening at home and the situation that happened with my girl the other day. And she suggested to me and I seriously am considering it. Um, as I said, I'm not going to fully jump out. I did drop those incomes because i can't really go to them anyways but i did drop them so i'm hoping that youtube will be that supplement income because of you guys through memberships through patreon whatever it is to make up for what i've lost so i'm just letting you guys know that that is the option that i have right now is what i'm looking forward to because i know you guys are awesome so please consider doing that um go look at the tiers see what you get at each tier, and decide what you want to do you can just support the channel for a dollar but you guys can always know that early access is only two dollars and at the five dollar level all you guys um you guys get to suggest videos you want me to watch movies you want me to watch and i will upload them to the channel or if you if at the five dollar level even if you want me to just react to something for just you i can do that for you too okay so um i'll let you guys know about that stuff just keep going and if you decide to do that i really do appreciate you guys so we're gonna jump in um so let me talk about this for a second slam dunk this has been recommended as for to be the new sports um anime on the channel now that we've caught up to Q, right so this is going to be the new one on the channel um i know a lot of people are anticipating at um for this to come out um you know for it to be that classic as some people were saying oh it's a classic um and a sports anime so what is going to happen there no we have a classic anime coming out on the channel and this is going to be the sports one there's other sports anime that i'm planning to do after this this is only like 101 episodes or something like that so i think we should get through this not necessarily quickly but we'll we're gonna keep the ball rolling so as you see the episodes come out just watch the episodes okay just just watch the episodes as i said I'm, there's no promise but i'm gonna try to do at least two per upload hopefully i can put this up on youtube i'm um, gonna don't have to worry about the google drive because this is a very very old anime but it's also made by i think it's funimation so i think it's funimation sponsored so I don't know Funimation is still alive and well so they might not allow us to put this up on YouTube because it's still their IP so um this is not gonna be maybe like a season one season two Ippo situation or a Yu Yu Hakusho situation but I will be trying to upload it to YouTube no doubt about it if that doesn't work out then you already know what the alternative is we're going straight to the Google Drive and then you come back to YouTube for the review okay so i've done enough talking let's jump into these reaction episode one or two of slam dunk let's see what this is all about so i will be pausing here okay i will be pausing here just in case i have to um put this up on 
the Google Drive just in case, but I will be connecting everything. So you're gonna hear me say some things that are gonna be that. Why is he saying that? <laughs> it's okay. The others are used to it. Okay. Um. So I will see you guys for the review. So like stuff like that, you're gonna hear me say if we if we are going to the Google Drive, but if we're not, then we will just go straight into the episode. Okay. So let's do that, and I will see you guys. All right, so that was Slam Dunk episode one and two. I'm ready for the journey. I'm ready for the journey to see what they're gonna bring that's going to be so good that this is regarded one of the best sports anime of all time, according to you guys. So I'm looking forward to see what they're gonna do. I'm gonna be honest. Um, great start to it. I like the backstory that they're kind of telling. Not necessarily backstory, but how things led up to Sakuragi joining a basketball team or whatever I'm gonna enjoy these little slice of life episodes to begin with to kind of push us into the narrative which is basketball okay so I want to see how that turns out if they're gonna end up on, on the same team of course it looks like they're gonna be a part of their high school basketball team um, don't have much to say here really um, because the plot is pretty simple um, right now I haven't dove enough into the story to see anything that I can really ex you know what I'm saying like ex ex extend upon you know to the point where um, you know we're gonna have no deep discussions about what happened um, one thing I do want to talk about though and I talked about this in the review for Haikyuu um, is this thing with anime and, and I said it before you know it's a pet peeve of mine I don't necessarily like seeing it I think it's overdone most of the time the in, the relationship between hot in in between high schoolers that they portray in the majority of animes that you watch you always see this thing where guys are just fawning over girls I don't like it because it's like you're telling us Yes, teenage boys are the horny all the freaking time and you know what I'm saying and they they go half the girls but the way how they portray it in such an exaggerated way it may not bother you but it bothers me and here we go again another anime um, that's portraying that you know what I'm saying and it's always like the you know the, the, the main character you know what I mean or you know whether it's a main character whether it's a side character you know it's it's just the same kind of issues you know what i'm saying i'm not saying that you know you don't have your teenagers bo teenage boys that are perverts or whatever this is the anime just they exaggerate the hell out of it and this is not no me saying like oh oh so 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 you don't want to see you know guys and girls get together in anime or whatever no nah, it's not what i'm saying if the relationship is done well, I'm all for it. It's just the point of, and, and it, it's, it's, if I should say anything that's like positive about what they're doing here is that it's a portrayal of how, how real life is. You get what I'm saying? You're a boy in high school. I was one of those boys that constantly got rejected by girls. You know what I'm saying? Like the, you know, the, the dude that's, you know what I'm saying? And I was playing sports in high school, but I, but that didn't help me in, in that department. I guess I was just too goofy or whatever the situation is. So I can relate to um, the main character in the sense of that is just um, when it comes on to, to, you know, how he, how he does it. You know what I'm saying? Like it goes to the point of near damn depression with him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Which in, which, which as a teenager, you know what I'm saying? I don't think it afford it affects boys in that way. And if and if it does, if it does, people are just trash. You know what I'm saying? Like people are trash. I think when you're a teenager, you don't really care that much. But if you do, and I, and I think it's all part of growing up. It's all part of about part of how you were raised in your household, and you know 
and even if your dad wasn't around or your mom wasn't around or you was grow up in a single parent home or whatever that doesn't stop the fact that um a lot of these things are still going to happen or your parent can prepare you for these kind of scenarios you know what i'm saying um i think both parents are necessary in in the household it's good when both parents are there but i'm not saying that single parents can't do a good enough job they can but the percentage is not in their favor when it comes on to the amount of you know the result of kids you know what i'm saying that grow up in single parent homes um versus kids kids are way more likely to be successful when they grow up with both parents in the home and yes they are you can bring all these variables in to discredit the argument but the numbers don't lie okay so let's get back to the topic at hand you see how i can go off on a tangent and start talking about a lot of different things in relation to things and that's why i love watching stuff because you guys allow me to have this platform to be able to talk to you guys about things that you know you may not hear necessarily a reactor talk about when they and to pull out of you know just a simple basketball anime you know what i'm saying like i pull that out from adjoining certain things from certain things that i see and it could be you know what i'm saying from from the whole relationship aspect of you know boys getting rejected that happens all the time even past high school into college boys still get rejected i mean in your 20s you're basically just have having sex with random with random girls if that's the kind of life you want to because if you don't want to do that you don't have to do that you see i tell my nephews i tell them listen all of that stuff it can wait you know what i'm saying you don't want to end up you know impregnating no girl or whatever the situation is or so it's better to just keep it in the pants man keep it in the pants you know um rejection is a part of growing you know what i'm saying whether it be you know relationships whether it be jobs it's a part of growing it's a part to to show you that you know your path is not going to be easy you know in in, in any way you know what i mean so i'm kind of relating this to this because i feel like sakura sakuragi i think that he's going going to get the girl in the end but at that point is he really going to want the girl you know what i'm saying because she's not really into him you know what i'm saying but i think i think maybe i think she's gonna be maybe simping over you know um R rukawa 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 i think it's rukawa I, let me look at my phone yes rukawa i think she gonna be simping over rukawa rukawa don't want nothing to do with that girl because he's focused he is focused and that's how i take his character so far that it's a focused character he don't care about no relationships he didn't care about no girls fawning over him you know what i'm saying like he don't care about none of that you know what i mean so he's just focused um sakuragi is the complete opposite you know what i'm saying he's always going after the girls getting rejected 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 you know and not realizing that you know you know he could do better or he can do other things other than running after girls every second i mean you just get rejected and then in the very same episode some girl comes and says, oh my god you're so muscly and stuff and he falls back right into the trap again you know what i mean <laughs> but in any case guys um that's just my two my two cents on that um so you know i have to give you guys real world scenarios man no matter you know sometimes i'm gonna have a short review sometimes i'm gonna have a longer review i really do appreciate you guys for coming through every single time i hope you guys enjoy these reactions when they come out but it's on youtube whether you're enjoying this for early access whenever it is hopefully you guys enjoy it. leave a like on the video leave a comment if you will and i will catch you guys later Peace.